Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of just another Minecraft Let's Play. It has certainly been a while. It is great to see you guys. It is great to be back in the world. How, what do you guys think of my new Christmas skin, by the way? Now that it is officially the holiday season, it's going to get amazing. It's going to be a lot of fun. But before we get started, if you enjoy this content or pretty much anything else that I do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton knowing you are enjoying this content, thus further encouraging me to create more content for you guys. Thank you. It does truly mean the world. Now, when we left off, we had built this amazing, uh, well, we had built this uh, trading hall, this villager trading hall sort of deal. Uh, it's very small because I don't intend for it to be like massive. Um, but I really like this gradient effect that I had going on with the roof, with the calcite, the diorite, and you know, all the way down to the cobbled deep slate. Now, in the last episode, we had cured two villagers in hopes of getting mending. Now, it honestly took me. And I'm not exaggerating, it had taken me a good hour total to get this guy mending. Now, I did not buy any mending books yet, because as you can see here, the prices aren't as great as they should be. So, and that is because, as you can see, the other guy is uh, not around anymore. And that is because, trying to move him around, I accidentally punched him. And it just wasn't great. So, what I'll be doing in this episode is getting all my stuff upgraded to mending. It would be very, very, very awesome. And getting that villager down to, I'm hoping, I don't know how many it'll take. I have four weakness potions and four golden apples. So, that'll probably take it down a little bit. But enough. It will be enough, certainly. Um, but now that I have locked in that trade, I can get rid of that lectern for the future. And I'm, I would like to get down to that one emerald for one mending book. So I guess the only thing to do now is just wait, wait for nighttime. Ah, officially nighttime. So let's get out there and try and trap a zombie. So my plan is to just find a zombie, lure him in. Um, and then shut the door behind me, pretty much. Yeah, very, very sneaky and very, very mean. And now that we're almost there, come on in. Just you. Just you. Oh, God. Boom. Now what we do... Oh, God. I did not realize that this was open still. Oh, poor guy. Now what we do... Since Now, since this trade is locked in... I can get rid of this and, you know, he won't need it. So if we just, if I leave, I wonder if I leave and if I, uh, there we go. Okay. No. There we go. There he is. Okay. Cool. 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 Now what we got to do is bro he is packed with armor holy cow there we go perfect just pop him back up move him back to his area come on you piece of junk come here all right now that i got the golden apple let's let's do this so Shaplam. Shaplam. And now we wait. Alright, our friend is now cured. And let's see what we are. This is exactly what I was looking for. Yes! The one diamond per book. Uh, or one emerald, sorry. One emerald per book. That's exactly what I was looking for. Oh my god, I'm so... This is amazing. Oh my god. I was expecting to... I was like half expecting to need all of my books and potions. But... The fact that it took only one potion and one book, uh, truly amazing. I have enough for five, which isn't ideal, but it'll do. It'll do. But now I got five books. Five books for my five emeralds, which is amazing. Definitely number one is going on my elytra. 
and then my pickaxe for sure. So let's go up to the thingy here. No. All right, now I have three. I might as well do my helmet, chest plate, and uh, yeah, my pants. Why not my pants? Ooh, maybe my sh Hmm. That's ah, fine. Again, plenty of opportunity. Look at us. Let's go. Let's go. Again, don't have any more emeralds. So we're just going to have to... I did see over on the village, there was uh, some farmers that I might just buy from, honestly. To get some emeralds. Just because I can buy the books. Uh, I can buy some more books. And get this up. Because I do... Eventually once we have a... Thing to sell. Like if we sell ink sacks. Or hell even paper. Paper I feel like is going to be like the... The prime. Like optimal. Sort of thing. And speaking of paper. I think that's what I'm going to do this episode. Is make a sugarcane farm because that will be ideal as well all right so i spent some time i went over to that village way over there got some extra emeralds from my pumpkins and my other crops and i was able to get enough to upgrade my villager to the next level by the way i have my boots and my sword and my axe mended and i have one mending book now let's see he should be able to do other things like we have fortune three and now we have one book for an emerald which okay that's not planned but if we were to uh, okay so that wouldn't actually heal them up huh all right but i'm sure that paper will come in handy eventually so yeah let's get started on our lovely lovely paper farm so in this shulker box here, we have most, if not all, the materials we need for a sugarcane farm. Now I just need to figure out a plot for it. I'm thinking next to the bee farm or somewhere, perhaps. Or maybe, honestly, right here would work perfectly. Or maybe over here or over there. I don't know. But anyway, regardless, it's time to get to work. We have officially completed our sugarcane farm and hopefully it all is well. I think everything works out perfectly fine. We have our rails here that'll bring up, of course, the sugarcane. And I have four, I have like five additional hoppers, so it makes the collection more efficient, which is also a big, big step up. And we just have one chest because I doubt. We're going to be using a lot, so yeah, we're just going to throw those in a while. And yeah, that's pretty much our lovely, lovely sugarcane farm. And I finished this at night time, so yeah, we are in a bit of a jam here because we do we cannot afford to have this thing destroyed. Because I had only, I had created just enough resources, and all I'm left with is just scraps now. So yeah, uh, very, very much living dangerously but I can't, I'm looking forward to the profits I'm looking forward to all these profits oh what is all this why are there so many of them what the hell no no go go away go away go away go away oh my god oh my god oh my god dude there's so many of them why dude this is not not okay not okay 
go with oh my god there's a spider too and he has a sword go away oh no what do i do what do i do? go uh away forever holy cow you are welcome jesus christ so after a while i went out killed a couple of cows to get some leather and i had some extra sugar cane to make paper i had upgraded this guy to the next level and as you can see here we have ink sack i do believe the next plan for this series for the next episode is to build a squid farm so we can get unlimited ink sacks and uh, uh, just an overwhelming amount but let's check on this a while here and now as you can see it's already growing pretty quickly no nothing new yet nothing new yet but they will that will Alrighty, folks, but that is where I'm going to call it for today's episode. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. It was very, very productive today. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.